do you want to know how to change your default wordpress image upload folder into your own custom folder then stick around because in this video i'm going to be showing you how to change that particular word wordpress wp content uploads folder to your own custom folder such as image or you can name it anything you want to name it you can store it in any folder you want to store store your images you can see how in here we are i'm having mine to be stored into my image folder you can decide to store it in any folder so i'm going to be showing you how to do that also in this video i'm going to be showing you how to remove your year and month in the your desk structure from your image url so your image url should just be the folder the your website address the folder it is being stored into and also the title of the or the name of the image so i'm going to be unlike the usual wordpress images that used to be very long so i'm going to be just showing you how to make that your your images to be have a custom structure so in this video just stick around i'm going to be walking you through so without waste of time let's just get into the tutorial <laughs> hello everyone you're welcome this is kingsley from kingsbird designs if you're just joining me for the first time please ensure you subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit on the notification bell so that you get notified each time i upload new video okay before we proceed with this particular tutorial what's up now is one thing you're going to actually come put in mind now you are go you're going to first of all ask yourself whether you want to actually be showing the date alongside with your your upload date al alongside with your image like for example you can see on this particular one i'm having you can see this is this is usually how our wordpress images this is how it is being it is the url is usually used to be you will see wp content uploads the year and the month uh, the dates of which it was uploaded but now you can see sometimes really someone like me i usually used to hate i dislike showing especially for someone to know that i created my website using wordpress or those kind of things so now we you can see um in this particular tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to do a way how to remove all this wp content from your dc and also now as i said firstly you have to ask yourself whether you need this date to actually be showing in your on your images now i'm going to try to be able to remove your first thing you have to come to you can see you see settings you are going to come to media media so once you click on media what you just need to do is to scroll down now you can see from this place here you can see organize my uploads into months and year now if this is checked this is then you are going to have your images having this month and year attached to it you can see when you go to your folder let me say i'm going to the my wp content let me say uh, you are going to see that each of my upload is going to have be segmented into months and days so you can see months so uh, if this is actually how you can see where my upload is so now you can see this is in, when you are using when this uh, icon is actually checked in checked on check see this is how it's going to be but now if i should uncheck this and click on save now when i save this what you're going to note i'm going to re-upload something in the image again let me just add in a new page new tab so now i'm going to re-upload another image so let me use okay let me use another image let me use this so let me upload this to my what's website now so once that just allow it to finish whatsoever it's doing okay just finish i'm copy the address copy the address let me also paste it in a new tab then click on it you can see now there is no month and date in my just as we have here there's no this month and date in my upload so it's just straight so now this is actually this actually i sometimes i enjoy my uploads showing without the month and days now you can see now if i go to the my uploads you're going to see there is no it's just inside my listeners it's not segmented into month and days so now this is 
okay let me go back and sh show you something now on our website but now remember i said i don't want to i don't want really want to see how the i want to actually change the directory where this upload is being uploaded you can see it's still uploaded into my wp content uploads so now i want to create a folder in my and save this part all my document uh, images inside a particular folder so now how do i do that now if you can see uh my tutorials is usually i've been using local by flyway to actually run my wordpress designs locally on my system so you can still follow the same way into doing it on your live server all you need to do is to go to the file manager if you're using a your normal file go to your file manager on your live server then go to the root directory where the web your website is just once you get there i think you are going to see something like this okay like for example you are going to just land on the place where you have this particular content on if you are using your ftp is the same way just land navigate to where you have the website you can see on my let me go back you can see this is okay you might just locate where the name of the website is locate all this then just locate this particular folder so once you get to this folder what you are going um, you are going to be doing is to create another folder I'm going to create another folder I'm going to name it let me say I want to name that folder okay let me say I want to name the folder where I want to upload this particular I, I want to store my images I want to name it images you can name it whatever you want to name it but let me say I want to name my images so what you're going to do is to once you rename it you are going to click on accept these changes now if you're using ftp if you are doing it from ftp you, you have to right click on you have to grant permission to read uh, write read and write permission to this particular folder so now if uh, right now i'm actually doing working on my using my local server so i'll just create i just created the folder so what i'm going to be doing is just to go ahead to my wp config file just go to the wp config file and i'm going to now edit this particular file i'm going to edit it let me edit my let's open let me open with video studio okay you can see my file has actually opened so now I, what i'm going to be doing is to you have to add some lines of codes to my so now i'm just going to go down to the end of it then i'm going to come and copy this code i'm going to just going to insert this code these lines of code you can just you can see the lines of codes here this is what i'm going to just paste in to just ensure you paste this line of code this is what you are actually going to just paste in paste in this code yeah you can see define just add this function to your codes then what you are going to do once you've added that you are going to just save the save it once you click on save once you save the document you can now close it once that is saved so now what i'm going after this what i'm going to the next thing i'm going to do is to just and that's all i don't have any other thing to do here again so now what i let me now upload a new file so that you see how it is now you can see okay now let me give, say something now you can see from my it is images what if i you decided to name rename this particular my folder here yeah. what if i decided to name it another name okay let me first of all let me do leave this as image let me show you something now okay i'm going to upload the image i want to upload let me say i want to upload this image i'm going to upload it to my website that's finished uploading so now if i should copy the address let's see how the address is here so let me just do it here let me paste it now you can see the address now is now having is no longer having the wp is now having 
images just save to my from the address save to directly on my images then the heading the image itself so now you can see that i've been able to move my website from the normal wp content structure and link structure to having my own custom link you can see all my images is now in a new folder instead of the usual wordpress folder so now let me show you what we we are having now you can see if i should go to my website now and check my images you can see the image now in my images so now what if i let me say let me create a new folder and i decided to name the folder let me say i decided to name the folder um, youtube let me say i decided to name this folder youtube and i want all my images to be stored on the folder inside the folder youtube what i'm going to do is just to go back to the code you remember i said you should add these lines of code i'm just going to change it from these images i'm going to change it to youtube once i change it to youtube i'll save the file once i save the file now let me re-upload another image let me re-upload let's say this image okay let me just pick any image from here and re-upload okay let me say i'm re-uploading this let me upload this let see it has been uploaded successfully if i should open the address let me see i'm opening it here you can see the address is being stored into the folder youtube it's been stored into the folder youtube and the name of the image so now if i should go to my images my folder and check youtube you're going to see my image inside the youtube folder so this is how you actually go about changing the default location of your wordpress file you can see now what if i wanted okay returning back okay i need that um my date and time to actually be that's my year and i just to come back to where i have my on my settings gone to media just turn this on and click on save so once I have done that, if I should upload any video, any this now, it's going to actually be on the YouTube folder. But now it's going to now be okay. Let me just upload now. It's going to have both. It's going to segment them into year and month. So now once I upload, but remember that we also also change give add the um, little changes on my url the image url you can see once i've done that i copy the url if i should open it here you can see it's this is the image it's actually stored in my youtube folder but now it's not having the day the year and also the date included in my the months included in my in the link of the images so now i believe you might have actually learned a lot from this particular tutorial so now if you have any question and you have any challenge or any what a video idea you actually want me to work on you can actually drop in the comment box below i'll try my best to see how to answer until next time bye for now Careful.